Hey everyone, Chad here with Digging History, and welcome to this week's episode. As you can see behind me, uh, this particular farm field has not been cut yet, but some of our other farm permissions have, and so we get out this week at a couple new places. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you on the first find. I'm gonna apologize right now if the wind gets to be too much. It is a chilly, windy day, but out here um, in the back hay fields, um, Court and I are out here today. Um, coming down the hill, I've made a bunch of lines. The only thing I've dug so far is a couple bullets, um, and that's about it, really. Um, so coming down here, got a signal. It was pretty jumpy, though, but it was like anywhere from like a 22 to a 24, pretty deep. Um, and we've gotten a ton of rain last yesterday, so came out here and just popped it out down there, and I got something brown here. I think it's going to be a button, though. In fact, I know it's going to be a button. I can feel the shank on the back of it. Or where the shank would have been but a big old dandy button nice now i wonder if there's anything on this is that sucker is huge um let me get this cleaned up and um see if there's something on it and i will be right back with you guys well cleaned her up a bit nothing on it just uh but man it's a big size dandy button love that cool all right well the rain certainly helped because I know this this backfield we've really pounded, especially here on the hill, um, where we know there was a home site like right actually right here. Um, so we've really pounded back in here. So to be able to pull this signal out, um, that's pretty special. So cool. All right, let's keep going, and uh, hopefully there's some more stuff in here. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so that last dandy button I got was kind of up on the hill. Come down here to the bottom. Um, I've done some lines kind of actually some lines coming this way so I'm down here at the bottom really deep down in there just flipped it out and there's something round and green oh is that a button yep there's the shank cool another big button out of here oh that was a tough signal to find um, it was down there deep and uh, so having a hard time looking, but it's kind of a convex button there. Doesn't look like there's any designs on it. Of course, the sun's not doing me any favors. Um, if um, when I get it cleaned up, if there's a, any design or anything like that on it, I'll put a picture up. But otherwise, cool. Wait, there's the sun just in time. Yep, doesn't look like there's anything on it, but cool. All right, another big button. All right, let's keep going. So, you can probably hear in the background there's some emergency sirens coming. So, I'm trying to get this out of the way real quick before they get here because they're kind of heading this direction. But, had to hit down here and look at this. <laughs> that is another big chunk, probably the biggest piece of our. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is part of an old bell. Uh, and I found other pieces here before. Um, but, this is the, definitely the biggest piece of it that I have found so far. So, really cool. All right, I'm going to keep poking around. Uh, if you haven't guessed it, I'm back at the hay field. So, all right, here come the emergency vehicle. So, I'm going to get going, and hopefully there's some more stuff here. We'll see you guys in the next one. So, the last time I was out here, I was working down this hill, and I actually stopped right here. I dug a big dandy button, and then went up that way and out. Um, and if I would have come over a little bit further, I would have gotten this signal, which sounded very similar, but when I popped it out, check this out. I got it cleaned up already, but it is a corner piece of an open worked shoe buckle frame. Check that thing out. That is really, really pretty. Sorry for my voice. Um, I am recovering from losing it. So it's, uh, I sound a little hoarse and I apologize, but check out that beautiful open worked corner piece of a shoe buckle. Man, it would have been awesome to have find that, found that whole thing, but I will take that super cool find. All right, I'm gonna keep going uh, between here in this tree line and uh, hopefully there's some more stuff in this area. All right, see you guys in the next one. Well, you know, uh, normally when I'm here at the hay fields, it's like coins and buttons, but today seems to be a little bit different. So I had a nice little signal down in here, um, plopped the plug out and I just pulled out another piece of shoe buckle frame and it is just as pretty as the last one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh man. One of these days, I am going to find a complete one, but that is the corner of an old colonial shoe buckle frame. Man. I'm kind of close to being on the inside of the, um, where we think that a house once stood in here, kind of in the footprint of that house. So, 
cool keep going here um maybe i'll get lucky enough and uh the next one will be a complete one cool all right let's keep going we'll see you in the next one So hunting along here, coming up to this line, we were just kind of switching, following the ridge line. A uh, little 11, 12 hit, and I got a little spun back button. It's broken, but definitely a little, nice little button. Cool. I mean, it's been tough going. We pretty much have dug, dug just ammo so far. Um, Zach did get on a war nickel, um, 43 war nickel, but other than that, not a whole lot going on. So cool. All right, we're gonna keep plucking through here. We'll see what else we can find. Well, the signals are very few and far between, at least good signals, but I had one down here, um, iron. I knew it was gonna be iron, but uh, pretty sure that is like uh, either an old mule or oxen style shoe. I mean, definitely too narrow to be a horseshoe, uh, but cool. I'll take that. Something for, uh, there's sacks here. Jeff is there. And court is way over there, but Zach and I are up here on top trying to find a possible house that we're going to follow this ridge line around. And uh, with any luck, we'll get on something. All right, let's keep going. And I love this hobby. Uh, always finding cool stuff, right? Um, it, it never gets old, no matter where we're hunting at. Uh, whether it's a place that we've pounded or it's a new spot, it just it never gets old. Yeah, the signals are harder to come by at some of the spots, but uh, that's why we do it, right? All right, let's keep going. Hi Zach. Hi. What'd you do? Uh, I found a thing that was way down here. Yeah. And now it's not down. Popped out. And it's in your hand. And and yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh man, it's got the whole top on it. Look, I don't think I've ever seen one that had like the the top wasn't broken Dude. off of it. Holy crap. Uh yeah, let's um let's get this thing cleaned up. That's awesome, dude. Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you. All right, let's go. All right, well, we got her cleaned out. Ooh, focus. Um, she's still got to dry out a little bit. You can kind of hear it clank. Uh, it still needs to dry out. There's still some mud and stuff in there, but cool. Ooh, there's actually, uh, actually, almost like there's writing right there on the top. Cool. Well, nice job, man. There you go. Congrats. Nice sleigh ball. All right, let's keep going. All right, so dummy me. Uh, Right after Zach dug that sleigh bell, um, I actually swung it over my coil to hear what it sounded like. Um, I did a pass down the hill, kind of came over a couple lines in the field, and was coming up along the edge, and I got a similar, a similar signal to his sleigh bell. Um, and I thought I was recording, um, but apparently I didn't hit start. Um, and when I hit stop, I actually hit start, so all you really see is me laying down the camera into the corn. Um, but what I did get on was an awesome crotal bell. So, uh, what you're going to see is kind of the end of me somewhat cleaning it and then uh, afterwards when I get it completely cleaned out. So sorry about that. Um, I'll try to make sure I'm doing a better job of recording next time. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried the best to clean her out with what we can here in the field. Um, she has pedals. There is a crack in it, so I'm going to be careful with it. But um, And there's still some mud and stuff, so i got to finish cleaning her out when I get home. But really cool. My second Corridor Bell. Loving it. I I don't think we got a number off of it, but small, but you can see that there's a little bit of a crack in there, but either way, go fine. All right, we'll keep going. See you guys in the next one. All right, well, I got it all cleaned out at home and she still jingles. Pretty awesome. Pedals and all, it is like it is cracked there and there, so I want to be very careful with it, but um, super cool find. So happy to have added another crotal bell uh, to my collection. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Well, hey everyone, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so because all that stuff just helps out with our analytics uh, and helps us continue to grow uh, as we inch closer and closer to that 1,000 subscriber um, and that big giveaway that we're gonna do. So. Please share the channel out if you can. Again, subscribe if you're not already. Um, so as always, we appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.